I'm going to sound like a broken record, but we are where we are. Just when you think Hollywood can't get any more ridiculous, they go and prove themselves to be far more insane than you thought previously because they keep finding another reason to make themselves look stupid and to prove people like me right. And they've taken something that we've all made fun of, that we've all thought was stupid, and we all thought that was a meme, pronouns and bio, and now they have taken that and they are using it for promoting future projects. That's right. This is not a meme. I am not making up what I'm about to show you. This is the Hollywood mindset. They have no connection to their audience. They don't understand anything going on. So many times we have seen this. They were so confused at the president that President Trump got elected. Because why? Because they don't understand normal, everyday thinking people. They live in this bubble. And that's the only thing they know. Why is Trump? Why is Trump getting so much support? Because he's doing what's best for the country. That's why. Hollywood people, wake up. But instead, you live in a world where this makes sense right here. Meet the cast of Netflix, The Sandman, from the mind of Neil himself. Look at this. Pronouns for every single person. This means that they actively went to each individual. They actively asked them what your pronouns are. What are your preferred pronouns? So that we can then put them on the marketing for this project. This is Hollywood. This is the Hollywood mindset. I guarantee you every single one of these people have TDS. Every single one of these people have a problem with Donald Trump. Every single one of these people have spoken out either publicly or privately against Donald Trump because that's what they have been programmed to do. My goodness. Once again, we see Hollywood people are completely out of touch with reality, with anything resembling entertainment. It's, it's not there. Like, they seriously just don't care. And again, I don't care about Hollywood people and them being crazy and insane and nuts and deranged. As long as it doesn't bleed into the product. Because I've long known that people in Hollywood would never like someone like me. And that's fine. I don't like people like them either. All I've asked for is to keep it out of the content. Keep it out of the product. Go be deranged. Go be a, a left-wing lunatic. Go cry all day long publicly, uh, you know, in other settings. But just leave it out of the entertainment. Same with sports. Same with everything else. You can think what you want. You can vote for who you want to vote for. You can support whatever you want to support. But stop pushing it into politics. I'm sorry. Start, stop pushing your politics into the product. But they can't stop doing that. And there is this culture, this bubble in Hollywood that forces you to be like this. Even if you're not. Like they just do. There's nothing they can do. They, they can't think for themselves. They don't have the ability. This is all NPC thinking. That's all it is. My goodness. Imagine, imagine being on this production and not thinking like this, yet having to fall in line. Because if you're part of this production and you don't agree with the identity politics movement in Hollywood, now you look at the marketing where literally every single person is using their pronouns. And then imagine being that random person on the production saying like i don't want to use pronouns that person would be cast out that person would be blacklisted from hollywood so now people that don't agree with it are going to have to be forced to agree with it or they're not going to be able to stay in hollywood that's what this is all about this is about continuing to tell everyone that you have to fall in line that's this marketing is about more than just what it seems on the surface this is about sending a message to other people on other productions to fall in line, use the pronouns, use the identity politics. That's what this is about. My goodness, what a disaster. What a complete and total disaster. What an embarrassment on so many different levels. Unbelievable. And again, for me, like, again, I just have not watched hardly anything from Hollywood. I, I just can't do it. You know, the... the while I knew what was going on, and it was pretty obvious, the firing of Cara Dune, uh, Gina Carano, Cara Dune's her character in The Mandalorian, the firing of Gina Carano 
and the public shaming of her was the end for me. Like, I just, I don't have any desire to watch this stuff. I tried to watch Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. I don't really care for Zack Snyder in terms of whatever he thinks. That's fine. Obviously, I've had some interactions with Zack, and obviously there's a lot of stuff that people like to discuss with Zack Snyder and everything like that. Um, that's neither here nor there. In terms of me watching Army of the Dead, I watched the first half of it. And then before I could finish the second half, there's comments about him saying that there's an anti-border wall message in the movie. And I'm like, it's a zombie movie, dude. It's a zombie movie. So I'm not watching, I'm not going to finish Army of the Dead. I'm just not going to do it. Because why would I? You're essentially saying that me as a Trump supporter, you don't agree with my politics and you're going to put it in a zombie movie. Again, I'm checked out on all things Hollywood. I, again, if you want to watch it, that's perfectly fine. That's your business. I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff that I probably can't talk about details anymore because I just don't watch it. I haven't watched uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I haven't watched Mortal Kombat. I'm not saying that those movies are going to be inherently guilty of identity politics. It's just showing that I'm just completely checked out of the Hollywood non uh, nonsense. I just am. I have no faith in anyone in Hollywood whatsoever. I have no faith in the me in the media. I have no faith in anyone in that world. I just don't have it. It's just so bad. They can't keep their politics out of the equation. They all have a severe case of TDS. It's only going to get worse because Trump and DeSantis are going to make their lives living hell, a living hell. And I can't wait to watch the meltdown. So if you're part of Hollywood, if you're part of Hollywood machine, I have no respect for you, no use for you whatsoever. Um, that's just who you are. That's what you're about. And even if you think there are good people within Hollywood, and maybe there are, eventually, even those good people, they will fall in line because they have to. That's just how it is. Unbelievable. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video and appreciate all of your support over here on my personal channel. Been uploading here a lot more. Obviously, I'm still doing stuff on Geeks and Gamers because I am part of Geeks and Gamers. I am the owner of Geeks and Gamers. And Sports Wars is doing great. Uh, the website is doing great. Everything we have going on is kicking ass and taking names. And it's only possible because of all of you. So thank you guys. Have a great day. And we will talk to you later.